can all agree that certain actions have consequences, right? Well, welcome back to Fairies Tutorials. And in today's episode, we'll be looking at the impact of diet-related health problems on the Caribbean. Stay tuned. Today, we're looking at the impact of diet-related health problems on Caribbean citizens. Focus points. So, in this session, I'll provide you with a refresher of the description of diet-related health problems. And most importantly, we'll be zooming in on the impact of these diet-related health problems on Caribbean citizens, specifically how it affects human resource capacity, disposable income spent on health, and also government expenditure on health bills. What are diet-related health problems? You should be able to tell me, right? Good. Now, diet-related health problems refers to the negative conditions or issues that may result due to unhealthy eating habits or practices. Now, types of diet-related health problems include overweight and obesity, diabetes mellitus, hypertension, iron deficiency anemia, dental caries, eating disorders, heart disease, and also stroke. Now, within the past two decades, Unexpected health challenges have surfaced which place at risk public health success. These challenges include the rapidly increasing rates of chronic non-communicable diseases at rates that challenges Caribbean countries. Now, let us look at how human resource capacity is affected. Now, before we explore how human resource capacity is affected, it is important for us to understand the concept of human resource capacity. Now, human resource capacity refers to a measure to ensure that an organization has a sufficient number of qualified people in the right place at the right time to achieve its objectives. So human resource capacity refers to people. Are they qualified? Are they equipped? Are they able to perform their task? No, human resource capacity is about ensuring that an organization has enough people with the necessary skills, qualification to achieve its objectives. Now, do you see where we're going? Can you make the link with persons who have diet-related health problems? Are they able to work? Good. Are they able to get trained or have their qualification based on their circumstances? Some might, some might not. Now, a lack of capacity has a direct impact on an organization's ability to deliver services and perform certain tasks. Now, guys, non-communicable diseases, also called NCDs, contribute to loss of productivity through work absenteeism and early retirement. So, because someone may have a heart attack, they may have a stroke, they may have chronic diabetes, hypertension, you may find out that you're absent from work many times and also persons, depending on how severe their conditions are, they may have to think about early retirement. Therefore, remember what is human resource capacity? How will organizations within the Caribbean industry or within any given country survive? Right? Now, 
poor health might result in decreased performance at schools and universities, reducing productivity of these individuals in the future. So diet related health problems not only affect persons who are older, but also young persons. You have adolescents who are uh, affected by what they eat. They may have a diet related health problems, right? Such as juvenile diabetes. Some persons may even have hypertension. Now based on these, some persons are obese. Now based on these conditions, you may find that these persons do not fulfill their true potential. Therefore, what is going to happen to the Caribbean or to the countries, right? What is going to the hap what is going to happen to the future nation builders? Good? All right. Let us move on. So families and caregivers have the burden of care caring for these for those who are suffering from NCDs. Now remember NCD stands for non-communicable non diseases or we may say diet related health problems or lifestyle diseases. So you may f find out that persons, because they have to care for their, uh, their family members who may be suffering from these illnesses, they may be burdened, therefore they may miss certain days at work. So we speak of absenteeism human resource capacity again is affected so they may be they may get laid off from work because their working schedule or even if they show up at work they're not productive why they're not efficient because they are tired right now ncds account for the greatest cause of early death right over two-thirds of deaths in the region Diseases such as cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and cancers are the leading causes of disability. So, for instance, let's take diabetes. Some persons who are diabetic they may develop diabetic foot disease where they have to what? Sometimes they may have to remove a body part. Depending on the type of cancer, they may have to remove a body part and therefore these persons become disabled, right? So they may become disabled and when they're disabled, sometimes they're not able to work. So the un unemployment level will rise and therefore human resource capacity will also be affected. There are no persons to take up these positions, right? Awesome. Now, let us look at how diet-related health problem affects disposable income spent on health. But to put things into context, we need to understand what is disposable income, right? So disposable income refers to the money or income remaining after deduction of taxes that is available to be spent or saved as one wishes or as one desires. So in other words, it is the amount of money that someone take home after all your taxes and deductions have been made, right? So the amount, the spending power, the amount of money that they take home. Now, let us look how uh, disposable income is affected based on uh, diet persons having diet related health problems. Now, during the past decade, growth in healthcare spending sharply reduced the disposable income of individuals. Now, it is reduced by what? Healthcare cost. So continuously, it eats into the family's disposable income. So you may find that persons may have to pay for doctor visits, they may have to eat certain types of food, take certain types of medication, and these may be expensive, right? Continuing, healthcare costs are high for the poor and those of working age. Some persons are unable to pay for health insurance. No, you may have direct costs that may affect the disposable income and you also have indirect costs. Now, when we speak of direct costs, we're speaking of treatment, special diets and transportation to and from medical facilities. Those um, issues 
feed into the income of the family. Now, indirect costs, you may find that persons are un unemployed or they lost lost of work day so they may have to stay home based on they may not be feeling well on a certain day or eventually some persons become uh they, they lose their job so they become unemployed and their un unemployment rate goes up right therefore they don't have as much money to spend continuing individuals suffering from one NCDs are at risk of developing others right so particularly as they age increasing the cost of personal care so you may find out that for example people with diabetes may have high blood pressure and at risk for stroke and their risk for stroke is high right so people with ncds are unable to secure savings and invest for their future because all their disposable income has to be going into care and treatment visit to the doctor to get uh, to change their diet right so all of these all con contribute to the eating out of the disposable income right or reduction of disposable income based on the expenses that they have to pay for health care now let us look at how government expenditure on health bills how is the government affected by these by citizens having diet related health problems right now over the past decade or more there has been a shift in jamaica's disease profile from communicable to non-communicable diseases arising li largely largely from lifestyle changes good and this information was taken from national strategic and action plan 2013 good now the impact of ncds on the national budget includes now we're looking about how the government is affected right so the cost of benefits paid to those who are sick from national insurance scheme no, and we speak about the National Health Fund that is funded by the government here in Jamaica. So based on certain diet-related health problems that persons may have, they may apply for this health card or health insurance, and you may find out that some of their, their medicines or their treatments are subsidized greatly, right? So therefore, based on the amount of persons having these diet-related health problems, it will continue to cost the government right the cost of employment benefits now in some countries persons who are unemployed based on the type of illnesses may uh, receive some types of income or stipend from the government now we also government the government is also impacted by indirect cost of human resource capacity so we speak of employment employment rates absenteeism which affects a country's ability to maintain a strong and global economic position right direct cost includes medical and non-medical expenditures incurred by the government for treatment of diseases including inpatients so those who are uh admitted at hospitals and also outpatient services so those that goes to the health centers for medication or to to for checkups all of those will cost the government greatly now know that we're at the end you should be able to complete this activity list five types of diet related health problems and also discuss four impacts of non-communicable diseases on caribbean citizens Awesome, you've made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment.